Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Miller of Pursuit Physical Therapy, and today we're going to go over what should you do if you have an avulsion or a tear of the rectus femoris tendon. Now, this injury is fairly rare, but it is very common in sports that you have a kicking motion, whether you're a field goal kicker or a punter, soccer player, you know, any kind of sport that has a lot of repetitive kicking. Uh, put you at risk to having a rectus femoris avulsion tear. Sometimes if you're a younger athlete and your growth plates aren't forming, you can injure the growth plate too. It is very rare in older adults to actually have this injury, but um, I have seen some cases where um, status was a total hip replacement where the hip dislocated and they actually tore the, um, or had an avulsion fracture of the rectus femoris attachment. So. The question is, what do you do? There's three main types of treatment that you could do. If, you know, depending on your imaging and the severity of the actual avulsion, you can do conservative treatment, you can do an injection, or you can get some surgery, okay? Now, what happens? So in surgery, um, they'll probably go in there and reattach the avulsion at the rectus femoris site. And obviously, yes, that takes a long time to recover from, but the research does show fairly good outcomes, especially with athletes who have to return to that aggressive um, kicking motion, whether it's soccer, punting, kicking, whatever. Um, they're fairly good outcomes, but if you get surgery, it just takes a while to heal and return to sport and get everything back in place. So yes, that does take a, a longer time. One of the patients that I've seen actually went the conservative route and we actually got an injection around the uh, rectus femoris site and we went the conservative route, you know, gradually restoring the normal range of motion, restoring the strength of the tendon attachment and it heals with time. And now he's back, you know, almost asymptomatic or pain-free, but he's back doing his favorite activities. And then the last option is a strictly conservative approach. And you know, if your avulsion is not that severe, then maybe you will heal with just a conservative approach. Let the bone or let the attachment heal with time, and then you restore the range of motion, the strength, the endurance, and get back to your sport activities. So I hope this helps. Um, if you're suffering from a rectus femoris avulsion, please give us a call. Um, you can call us at 407-494-8835 or visit our website at PursuitTherapy.com for more information about our treatment approach and, how, well, and what is best for you for your injury. So th thanks for turning in and we'll see you soon.